Welcome to Tiffany Lương at home. Look at that. So gà xối mỡ is um, fried Vietnamese fried chicken with red rice. And with the soup there, if you see what you like, come with All me. All right, so when we got started to get all the ingredients together, so first you need a big pan. In this big pan, you want to use a little oil. Um, not much, it's about a uh, half or uh, half a tablespoon or a tablespoon, depending on you. You can see here, it's very little. All right, so in my um, little plate right here, I have all different types of herbs. So first I'm going to put four of the star anise, okay? It makes it smell so good with um, the crispy fried chicken, Vietnamese crispy fried chicken with red rice. And then I also have cinnamon, okay? And then I'm going to put that, oh, smell. It's gonna bring all that smells really good. And I'm going to put ginger. Okay, so I'm gonna put ginger there. So it depends on, um, you know, uh, depends how much you're gonna cook, so. I'm putting here like um, about eight slides of ginger, okay? Then of course I'm going to put four cloves of garlic. Oh, there you go. Oh, I, you can smell the aroma, it's so good. Then I'm going to put salad, one big cube salad. So bring that to um, all that aroma and get all the smell out from all the herbs so you can have your uh, chicken. Uh, you can boil with the chicken with it. It's, it's going to make the broth available. So I have dry gloves in here. So that black is so small you don't want to burn them. So chicken hand already so I put in here it's salt um, paprika and a little turmeric and then also mushroom seasoning and um, you know depend how many you're going to cook I have in here is six um, well six pieces three little chicken okay so I'm going to put in the water here and I'm going to boil and um, about 14 minutes, so I'm going to slide it in like that. So this is three little hands. So make sure all the chicken cover with the waters. Okay. So so that way you can have amazing um, the crispy Vietnamese crispy fried chicken. Okay. So I'm going to put uh, in there. So I put all the chicken in a big pot, and now I'm going to marinate them. So I'm going to put one tablespoon of um, mushroom seasoning. And again, it's depend on what you, um, how many you going to cook, because depend on how many you, uh, you cook for your family. So I have it here is uh, three pan and it's six peas. So it's pretty, um, you know, large, um, you have to put it like six people. So this is uh, for six people. So I'm going to put um, some more of the salt, my pink salt, okay? Then I'm going to make a little stir there. Remember the chicken I already marinate, um, mushroom seasoning and salt already, and turmeric and 
uh, paprika already. So now I'm going to cover it and cook for 14 minutes, okay? When you see um, is boya right now, you see all the bubble, you need to kind of remove it because you're gonna make soup out of it. So just make sure the broth is very clean and just remove the, all the bubble the grass very clean so and make sure the chicken is all boiled evenly okay so I am going to look around moving around the chicken smells so good and make sure all the seasonings and everything go into um, the chicken so when you boil make sure it's really typically it's cooked the chicken well and then when you fry them you don't fry that long you just make the skin crispy that's all so and that's what the, the chicken is very tasty because of all this broth okay so keep cooking until it's all done. Okay, so after 14 minutes, your chicken is done. So you're going to move them to the rack so that will let it dry um, because you want the skin really dry um, before you are um, going to be fry them. That way the skin will be crispy and gorgeous, beautiful. So there you go. So easy to test to um, take a chopstick if you make sure the chicken is done. Take a chopstick and poke it right there on the leg, right here, and you can see is no um, any liquid come up or blood come up. That means the chicken is done. Um, so I'm going to remove and make sure it's all the skin is going to be dry, so that way you can have beautiful. Um, Fried chicken. Okay, so I'm going to remove uh, on the wraps. Okay. Oh my gorgeous, gorgeous chicken. Alright, so. Alright, so my chicken is done there. Now I am going to show you, so I'm going to leave it um, to let it dry before I fry later before we eating. So now I'm going to show you how to do the rice. Okay, so now the chicken removed from the broth. So I have the broth here and I got a little, of, um, um, little spoon here that I'm going to remove all the all the herbs, all the gingers and everything out. Okay. Some people will leave the fat, but I will remove most of it out. Okay, so I'm going to remove all the stuff and make the broth for the soup. If you want to, or I, um, I'm going to have this broth to make the, the rice. So I'm going to remove all the stuff. Oh, so the, the broth is just amazing, smell amazing. Okay, so we we'll remove everything. All right, so it's all clean, done. So let's put the rice. Okay, here. All right, so now all my broth is clean. So I have the rice here and I already um, rinse it, wash it, and everything is clean. So I'm going to pour the broth, what I have here, into the rice. So you can see right here, okay? So the rice right there, um, you can see my rack chicken right there. So I'm going to take the, my uh, spoon here. So I'm going to move the broth into the rice. Okay. and depend on how much you make the rice you make so if you wanted to um, 
just cook like the same um, um, the rice normally you cook. So I will put in here. I, the reason I don't want to say uh, measurement because I cook a huge big amount. So it's depend on you see like I have seven cup here. So I'm going to put all the way to number seven. Okay. All right. So all my liquid is done. So the broth going here. This broth will be make soup if you want to. And now my rice is ready to put all together. Okay. So I'm gonna put up here so you can see better. Okay. All right. So is that better for you there? Okay. So you're gonna see better the with the rice right here. So I'm going to put in this rice. I'm gonna put two little cute uh, slice of butters in my rice. So now I'm gonna bring in bring to my rice cooker and cook them. All right. So now the rice is done. Oh, this looks so good. So it looked like this. See that with the, um, the chicken broth. We boiled the chicken earlier. And you can see the colors. Honestly, it's yellow. It's beautiful already. Um, you don't have to turn, uh, make it red if you don't want to. Uh, technically, my family would just eat it like this so you don't have to make it red. But if you want to make it red before you go to um, do fry them so it's like a fried rice so you can take the rice like this and you're going to mix um, some of the ketchup so that way it gives you some colors so here is ketchup or um, you can use paprika or you can use uh, paprika oil or you can use different type of um, red paste so here I have um, ketchup then I mix it up so that will give you the colors of um, the red colors you wanted with the Vietnamese fried chicken um, if you like to mix it so if you wanted your your um, rice to be more of that uh, red pink colors again don't put too much then it's gonna be too sour but to get achieve the color mix very well to achieve the color you want it okay um, you can leave it because um, just the way you cook but um, some people like to have some red colored rice okay there you go to mix very well and before mix the color before you fry so it's more even colors okay so i'm going to add a little bit more my kid like you know to add a little ketchup on the rice so it tastes um, a little bit of so you know sweet and sour like ketchup but not too much there you go so before you're gonna fry so i'm gonna show you how to do the the red rice fried rice okay eat with vietnamese fried chicken there you go mm -hmm. so let's go out and fry them all right so i have a pan here keep hot to put a little bit of oil in it not much okay so you're going to do a little uh, fries the rice when you just mix okay, i'm going to have um four of the garlic cloves right there just put it in and make it smell real good before you fry the, the rice okay right there um, now some people will remove if you want to remove this you can if it not you can leave in there if you want to so it's up to you okay um, you can remove it and put on the side it just make that um, that oil smell that garlic so good there so you can remove it if you want to or you can leave it if you want to so it's depend on you okay there you go um, I will remove them and put them on top of the rice so that way it looks really pretty. And if you leave it in, then it lost in the rice, right? And some people will have and some people don't. So that's good. So I'm going to remove the garlic, okay, before I'm going to fry the rice. Um, again, you know, I mix the ketchup with the rice already. The reason I pre-mix them because it's 
when you fry the fried rice is um, you want when you fry them is so much more even okay so I'm going to remove that garlic okay then now here's the rice we already makes beautiful color so I'm going to put it in wow yeah right and also the rice because we have with that um, chicken broth and it has so it's already seasoning and it's so good with you know gingers and anise thought anise and all that so it's so good you know the yeah, the cinnamon so it's so good already you don't have to and it already um, has seasoning so you don't have to season your um, your rice at all so it tastes good already if if you don't do the broth doesn't taste good from the beginning you can add some seasoning if you want to but my rice right now it tastes so good I don't need to add nothing so it just tastes oh, wonderful now you just wanted to fry it so that oh my god it's so, oh, it's so, so delicious so um, uh, you are you want to fry a little bit so that way the, um, the rice can um, you know more taste and also a little bit I like a little bit crispy um, so that way you have that gorgeous beautiful rice when you um, serve okay there you go see how easy and it's, it's done so I do like that make the rice so so delicious so this is called red fried rice there you go See, like my husband and I, we, might, we just like the way it's cooked and we don't even have to fry. So it's depend on your family, um, whatever you want to do. So, the, you know, most people, they like more love um, uh, Friday because, you know, it's more crispy and also um, more garlic. Okay. Again, in here, have a little butter so it makes the rice really um, delicious. There you go, all done. And I'm going to fry the chicken. All right, so now we're going to fry the chicken. And this oil, I already fried some onions, so that way is make the oil smell good. But it's up to you, you don't have to. So I like to fry some onion, so that way I can use the onion. And I put the chicken, is uh, the skin oil dries and everything, and leave it out when I boil them and make sure and leave it out. Uh, make sure the skin is dry so it gives you a uh, very crispy uh, outside. So I have left the little rack. If you don't, just put a little, uh, a big spoon underneath so make sure the chicken doesn't touch the bottom. Then you can see there, just make sure, be careful, it goes too hot. So then you're going to take a little, um, right there, you see that? You're going to take a little spoon like this and you just back the oil on top of the skin, okay, and fry like that. Is this way to me is so much more easier. It will, you know, perfect yourself with a little, of, um, uh, you know, basket like this. It's so much easier for you to um, to fry the chicken, and you just pour the oil on top. Um, you know, in the restaurant, they just have a big, huge pot and they fry. But at home, because I don't want to use too much oil, and this oil is have um, uh, onion oil, so, you know, vineyard, so that way you don't waste the oil. So I keep pour on top and make sure the oil really hot. So that way it makes your skin, uh, the chicken is very crispy. Again, if you do a party, then you need to, you can do double fry this chicken because you, if you do double fries and you're gonna, the skin is much more, it's going crispy for a long time. So like everything fry, if you do double fry and it gives you so much more crispy and it lasts longer. So if you um, only have one, you know, two, three, two, four people at home, um, you can just do one, you don't have to do double fries because if you do like a party or something like that and you keep pour hot oil, this oil very hot, so you keep pouring that hot oil into the skin, okay, 
And um, see, I like this basket because that way it doesn't, the, the chicken didn't touch the pot. So that way it doesn't stick underneath the pot. So just, just pour it in like that. Again, if you have, this is what this, they call soy ma. Soy ma I mean is you pour the, the oil on top of the, um, the chicken. So make the, the skin and it's very crispy. Okay, like that. There you go. And just be careful. The oil very hot and just be careful. Okay, and do it like that. Again, you can, you can, if you want, you can pour the, um, put more oil all the way to the top if you want to. But the meaning of soy mo mean is you pour the oil on top of it. So I'm doing this way so you can see why the name is that way come from. So when they're in the restaurant, they just put one piece of chicken in the basket and then they just use the hook use the spoon and pour the oil on top like that okay you can see now the chicken starting to be very golden brown uh, golden brown and is oh it is so delicious now so i'm going to pick it up so you can see and the skin starting to be crispy oh my goodness look at this yeah okay so i'm going to turn that over okay I'm going to turn this side over. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. There you go. Then, the last side. Again, you can pour. And make sure it's off. Uh, the oil. And if you have a basket like myself, you don't have to do that a lot. So you just do it like a deep fry chicken. Okay. And when you check it, make sure the, the skin is golden. Beautiful. There, that's how you do your Vietnamese fried chicken. And it's very tasteful, it's tasty with the uh, red fried rice, okay? Or yellow fried rice, whatever color you like, okay? And make sure the oil really hot. Awesome. Now, if you do party, this is good. So you can take it out and you can double fries later, okay? Because if you do it too much, then you cannot do double fries because it's going to be burned, right? So you just make sure you um, know how you're going to fry the chicken rice for, okay? So I keep doing it. Ah, that's beautiful. Doing it until it turns a beautiful color. Oh my god, look how crispy this is. Yum. You can see the chicken is so beautiful and crispy. Alright, all done. Look at this baby. So beautiful. And this is three little hand chicken. And divide in half. So I have six pieces for six people. And it's so delicious and it's so crispy, crispy. So here you go. So I'm going to show you how to put in the plate with your red fried rice. Yum. Okay, so now we're going to do the um, soy sauce to go with the crispy chicken with the red rice. So first you need a bowl, small bowl. Then I'm going to put in here um, one tablespoon of sugar. Okay. Uh, all right, and then I'm going to deal with lemon or lamb juice. Uh, it's about one teaspoon. Okay, and then I'm going to mix really well. That mix very well. Then there you go. So I'm using the. Um, this type of muggy soy sauce. So put soy sauce in here and mix well with the uh, lemon juice and sugar. And then, again, depend on you if you want it to be more um, sweeter or sours or saltier, that's up to you. So I'm gonna mix it up. 
Some people will add some water, but I don't. It's just I want to keep the concentrate and the good taste of the magi, the soy sauce. So there you go. And then after you finish that, you're going to put your um, garlic, uh, fine chop, okay? And then also your chip peppers. There you go. And you have this wonderful sauce to put on top of your rice or your chicken. There you go. So now everything is done. So here is your red fried rice. So you're gonna put in the bowl like this. And you can see the crispy underneath and tack it out just like that. And then look at that. Oh so there you go. So you press like this. Okay. And then you can put in gamma like that. Gorgeous, right? And then I'm going to have some, remember the garlic and the onion I fried earlier with the oil. So I'm put it on top, right? And then here's our baby. There you go. And then you put your chicken there. And then you can put tomato. Oh yeah, tomato, or you can make um, your side salad if you want to. So it depends on you. If you want to make a, a salad called go with it, you can. Or just do the cucumber, tomato, like this. And our family, what we love is this is um, vinegar, uh, pickles, Vietnamese, pickle, radish, and carrot. So we like this because it's kind of sour and um, sweet so it tastes so good with the fried chicken there you go and you can see that gorgeous play and you can have with a bowl of soup and also the um, magi soy sauce there you go in that yummy